Needing positivity all around you Made me life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds They try to tear you down Why they wanna tear me down? for some of you all, okay? Not all of that applies to all of you. Because for some of you all, I really felt a lot of Venusian energy. I felt the energy of really loving on self, really healing thyself, and really going deep within when it comes to them damn trauma, uh, to, to, to the history and the cycle that is ending around trauma bonding, okay? Especially when it has to do with generational cycles. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> hey, who hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I cuss, okay? I may cuss a little. I may cuss a whole fucking lot. Just depends on how the hell these cards coming over and I'm cuss, okay? So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free right down now, okay, to find a beautiful reading on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing because, listen, I do that, all right? Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, you guys, the donations, the reading requests, the love... Thank you so much from the humblest space ever. Thank you, all right? Also, this message ain't finna resonate with every damn Leo, all right? Take what does, lead the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try to put it on because your ass gonna fall every damn time, period, okay? Period, period. So, also, to the new subscribers, if you can't tell, we're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? But, all right, we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do love, we share, we grow, we enlighten, we evolve, all right? Posi vibes only. We're one big happy family over here. Posi, posi, posi type teens only, okay? Also, if you need a personal reading, that information will be found within the description box below. I will not be picking up personal readings again until the 23rd of November and after. So, you guys... Get your request in now, okay? Because shit, shit blows up. I'm a popular girl, okay? Thank God. But I'll say this. Get it in now because they do go fast. Um, but further ado, let's jump into the motherfucking month of November, honey, because I got tea, all right? Leo, 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 Leo. I did feel the energy of, I, I literally heard Big Lotto, Big Remix. So I feel like for some of you all, there's this, elevation when it comes to your energy also i'm hearing status okay so there's this big in big lead big, look, no big leo motherfucker big big lion big remix big my shit okay this the emphasis on my shit also um i am picking up on a little petty energy for some of you all your boo's ex boo is mad at you because they don't understand how you made them the green light go with this individual's ambition, okay? Um, also, this individual is a bit salty because I feel like this person could have tried to trap this individual with a baby. There could be talks about a paternity test. And it's coming out that little TT, little Tyrone, little, little, little... Little, you know, little Wawa, whatever the little baby name is, okay? Because mm -hmm. for some of you all, and don't be petty because I am picking up on somebody being petty when it comes to social media and people's children. Don't be t calling nobody, no, no, don't be talking about nobody's kids, talking about somebody got some ashy ass kids because somebody said that somebody got some ashy ass kids, okay? <laughs> and I was just the messenger on that. I love the kids, y'all know this. But somebody just called somebody's kids ashy as hell, okay? It's not okay. Petty as hell. I uh, Listen, I second the petty round, but don't do that, Leo. If this is you, cut it out. That's not nice. I'm going to get the fucking bill. Not nice, all right? 
<clears throat> I also picked up on energy. Some of y'all, again, I'm just the messenger. Some of you all are definitely sleeping with the enemy. I feel like there's this sense of one upsmith, okay? Some of you all, your success is really making someone intimidated. Someone is really exerting a lot of big egoic energy. I feel like towards you, you may notice that someone's no longer talking to you, but they're talking at you. I'm also picking up on a lot of stale energy, stale mate energy. Some of you all, I did hear Virgo, Pisces, okay? I also heard Scorpio. For some of you all, this has to do with an area. A Sagittarius, um, lastly, a Gemini, okay? Um, maybe even a Capricorn or an Aquarius, a lot of um, Saturn energy. <clears throat> but I picked up on a lot of past life regression. Some of you all are shamans, okay? I also picked up on the energy of some of you all really needing to save your money due to some type of unexpected maintenance on your vehicle, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy as well. Some of y'all need to spend more time with your kids, okay? I'm just a messenger, but some of y'all been chasing the P and the D a little bit too much, and you're, you you can't wait to sneak out and put their ass to bed, all right? Um, I also picked up on, because for some of you all, I am picking up on late night creep, okay? Some of you all, there could be some type of discovery. This could also be a self-discovery. I am hearing spiritual inheritance. Your gifts are kicking in, Leo. Okay. I'm also picking up on a lot of cosmic consciousness. Okay, so some of you all may want to elevate your consciousness or you be, may be in that space now. But I definitely picked up on a lot of ascension type energy. Leo, I also picked up on individuality as well as envious. I heard the word envious very strongly. Now, I am being told that for some of you all, this energy is being projected to you. But for some of you all, you're projecting that energy internally to other people. Okay, and I feel like it has to do with comparing your path to another one's and to another person's. And Spirit is saying everyone has their own faith. Everyone has their own purpose and everyone has their own challenges and adversity to, uh, you know, to, uh, to, to hurdle. And I feel like for some of you all, there's a need for you. Some of y'all is obsessively watching someone or obsessively watching tarot videos as well. I feel like there's a really heavy need to go within. And some of you all are in that space, but I feel like you will be heavily more, more, more so into that space as we end out November and go into December, okay? Oh, honey, so let me get the messages that I wrote down because y'all had me channeling, honey, okay? Um, I keep hearing, um, I lose all control when you grab a hole and you do your trick. Hey, I love it when you lick. Hey, Leo, listen, some of y'all is nasty, okay? I definitely feel like for some of y'all, I am hearing tantric, so some of y'all could be getting very heavily into, um, sex magic or create, like, Honing your create, honing your sexual energy in order to create with it. Some of y'all may have Aries and, or Pisces in your chart, okay? Some of y'all also may be Sagittarius or Virgo. <clears throat> this could also be Gemini in your chart, all right? So let's get it. For the month of November, Leo, I got for you guys apologies, ego wars, elevation, forgiveness, cosmic consciousness, gaslighting, acknowledgement, ultimatums, Cutthroat, spiritual inheritance, confessions, plot twists, emotional roller coaster, emotionally manipulative, moon magic, self love, digging deep, two faced, exposure, shaman, past life, trauma bonding, thief, fake friends, holistic lifestyle. Heart Chakra, New Business, Blessed Endeavors, okay? So, Leo, 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 listen, big, big lion, big energy, big fucking remix, taking over shit, elevating, okay, elevating in status. For some of you all, I am hearing promotion, okay? Some of you all may be getting a promotion. Also, I'm also picking up on the energy of someone, <clears throat> Leo, somebody is playing these old Fisher Price ass games with y'all in the month of November, okay? Ch they're childish as fuck. I feel like someone doesn't, someone doesn't handle rejection well, and I feel like whoever this person is, there's a lot of gaslighting ass energy. I feel like this person comes in. This person needs to be needed. Um, for some of you all, this could be your energy, but I feel like this could all, I'm hearing trauma bonding. So this is where you and this person could actually mirror one another. And I feel like there's a lot of tit for tat, a lot of tit for tat behavior, a lot of I'm a show you, a lot of, um, I just feel like it's a lot of egoic wars. I feel like someone's pulling the plug and there's another person mad as fuck. And I also feel like, Oh, honey, I'm hearing, that's just my baby daddy. That's just my baby daddy. 
someone's getting a reality check around someone who they have a child with. I feel like someone's finding out that that someone carries on a particular pattern when it comes to gaslighting women, or there's a type of there's a type of behavior when it comes to someone being someone creating like it's like they create empty doors or empty like. <sighs> Someone creates, it's like they create homes, but they're broken homes. Someone also suffers from abandonment. Someone has daddy issues is what I'm hearing, okay? All right, so let's get a crystal oracle messages for my Leos. Okay, this is not working for me. Um, <laughs> for the month of November, what crystal will be useful and helpful for my Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Washington, North Node, Mars, my Leos for the month of November. Some of y'all, I'm also picking up on somebody got a mama that's a hater. I feel like somebody, like, builds you up to tear you down, Leo. It's a feminine energy. This could even be a hating asshole. Okay. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Priscilla, uh, Priscilla Bluestone, number 33. Okay. Some of you all could be a life path number three. I'm hearing 369. Okay. Not the yin yang twins, but the divine version. All right. We ain't getting low. We finna keep it. We, we not busting it the fuck open. <laughs> Like Joy said, lick. Oh, some of the old probably licking their tongue. Got uh, y'all nasty. All right, Priscilla Blue Stone. This is beautiful. Y'all know we don't chop and screw the oracle messages. We say it as it is. All right, Priscilla Blue Stone, the inner compass. Priscilla Blue Stone planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. This stone assesses past, present, and future. Self-understanding. You are an ancient shaman, huh, who has much wisdom to impart, to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. You have unshakable core stability and an inner compass that directs you with integrity. Use natural medicine for ailments. Pay attention to your boundaries. Dig deep into the past, access your memories, and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intentions and roots. Live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face challenges with e with equina oh honey <laughs> equanimity. I know I skipped motherfucking ELA. I was smoking weed somewhere. You have the power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. Being true to yourself is the basis of all well-being, spiritual and physical. The frequency of this stone is earthy and high, chakras, earth star, and soma, the mid hairline. The timing of is good for Taurus, Sagittarius, and Capricorn, and those with the soul path of developing a spiritual compass, okay? Leos, I am hearing, trust your own damn, trust your own damn intuition. You don't need to look outside of yourself when it comes to searching, uh, for, uh, searching for answers. I am hearing synchronicity. Some of y'all could be seeing 333. Two 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 five 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 seven seven seven. There's a lot of emphasis on spiritual protection as well as spiritual abundance. I'm also hearing spiritual inheritance. It is so. It is your fate, Leo, for you to be in the spotlight. For some of you all, it is fated for you to be actually like in the music industry or in some type of like spotlight. I'm also picking up on public speaking. Okay, so some of you all could be speakers. Some of you all could be readers. I'm picking up on the energy of putting yourself out there, but being within your power, putting yourself out there, your authentic self. Okay, take the damn, take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. Okay. All right, so let's get, let's dig into the tarot. Screw messages that you have for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross Watchers, North Node, and Mars for the month of November. What messages do you have for my Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. North Node, and Mars. All right, Leo, some of you all have a fire sign that is itching to talk to you. I feel like someone has something to say. There's a lot of throat shock. I feel like someone has something to say, but they don't know how to approach the situation. I feel like someone would rather sit in their pride and sit in the, like, sit watching from the background something that they really want because I feel like someone feels as if they, they're not confident to come authentically and to approach the situation, okay? For some of you all, I am hearing no contact. So this could be someone who you haven't spoken to in quite some time. I'm also hearing ghosting. So you could have ghosted this person or this person could have ghosted you. But I feel like someone was a catalyst for someone else's growth or someone to be uh, thrusted into their uh, life path or their purpose. Okay. 
Oh, shit, Leo, y'all jumping off the bench. Okay, so some of y'all could be dealing... Someone could be trying to resist an ending here as well, I see, but some of you all could be coming to the realization that it's time for something to end, okay? You're ready to move on into a new cycle. And I feel like this definitely has to do with the soulmate situation, okay? Some of you all, this could be someone who, someone knows your worth, but they pray, they pray to the gods, honey, that you don't wake up and know your damn worth because this person feels as if they're not on your level. And I feel like people around you could be telling you this, but I feel like well, you guys are loyal as fuck, so I don't give a damn. Whatever the hell people have to say about it, individual i feel like ultimately it's your like you guys don't take other people's opinion and just run with that shit you do what the fuck you want to do and i love that and i admire that about you all but for some of you all there's a need for you all to take heed because i feel like honey god gives you a warning and a sign okay some of you all this could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio some of you all i'm hearing torn in between the two because i really want to be with you but something's telling me i should leave you alone okay so some of you all this could definitely be a divine counterpart all right some of you all this could also be someone who's an aries all right uh, some of you all could be uh, juggling between someone who's a gemini libra aquarius and aries individual a capricorn or possibly someone who you could have children with a son Okay, I'm also picking up on the energy of someone also not wanting to make the wrong decision when it comes to uh, moving forward in the love situation because someone feels as if someone's going to, if they continue this situation, that someone's going to be a liability to their business, to their finances, to their security, their stability, okay? I feel like someone could also be in between jobs or someone could be in between relationships. I'm picking up on someone trying to bring balance to a situation, but I feel like there's this... <clears throat> sense of an ending that's inevitable and I feel like someone wants they, they, they want to see every damn thing else but that ass walk away okay somebody like to see that ass that, <laughs> that, that somebody love you from behind from behind from behind <laughs> If you walk away from me, I'll just love you from behind, okay? <laughs> Some of you all could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini, strong Aquarius here. For some of you all, you could also be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. Someone leaves you in this space of not knowing what the hell, where things are going, okay? Someone is unsure about, <clears throat> someone's unsure about how to move forward. If it's safe to actually build a situation with the individual, because I feel like someone feels as if they've given too much to a situation to not see anything back. Someone feels as if they can't grow here, okay? And I feel like because nothing is growing here, someone's unhappy, and I feel like someone doesn't know how to fully speak up about it. I feel like someone's beating around a bush and leading someone on, and that shit's going to backfire in a major way, okay? I feel like someone also could be being very petty with children, because someone could have a new relationship or could be starting something new. Somebody got a new situation, a whole boo thing, and it's a whole hating ass broad, a hating ass dude in the background mad in the bushes with a banana. I don't like that shit on some shit. All right. <clears throat> some of you all could definitely be standing your, yeah, some of y'all could be standing your ground when it comes to people who talk, especially if you're dealing with a situation where someone's emotionally abusive or, um, mentally abusive some of y'all especially if this is physical abuse i feel like some of you all are putting your damn foot down you completely cutting off a situation you tired of giving to a situation and giving to a partnership a situation ship a job and feeling as if you're not being seen or recognized for your efforts okay i feel like some of y'all taking y'all damn show on the road i see someone here who could be um in the either the the makeup industry this could also have to do with like cosmetology beauty this could also have to do with hair um and i, I see a lot of like beauty things somebody somebody could be selling eyelashes bundles okay or someone's wanting to start some type of online business that has to do with makeup and beauty i'm also seeing someone here working on something involving skincare okay or putting out some type of skincare line or skincare product i see a lot of holistic um a lot of holistic a lot of entrepreneurship around whole, um, a holistic lifestyle. So for some of y'all, this could also be some type of online. Um, I'm seeing a wholesale on an herb shop, okay? So some of y'all could be looking for a wholesale on herbs. Some of you all could also be making spiritual baths is what I'm seeing. Some of you all also are shamans. Some of you all are really, really um, working on tapping into that inner, that, that inner, okay, the internal compass. That's what I'm hearing. 
a lot of Akashic energy, a lot of subconscious energy. Some of you all, you have someone actually stalking you as well. I feel like this person is, well, they tried it is what I heard. They tried it, all right? Some of you all could also be getting some devastating news about a third-party situation. Some of y'all dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the reason why this person is, like, really not being direct about how they feel is because someone has to choose between you and someone else. I feel like you and another person could have children by this person. Somebody could be a um, Capricorn here. Somebody, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like this person is stuck on you or someone's scared that they're going to lose money if they leave a situation or lose access to a family dynamic. This could be children, all right? So let's see. Why is the Queen of Swords here with the um, with the Four of Cups, all right? Yeah. Someone is afraid of you completely pulling a plug on their ass, uh, Leo. I feel like some of y'all almost called y'all Libra. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. I feel like someone's setting a boundary. Someone's choosing no longer to be the side piece. Somebody say, listen, I'm going to be the motherfucking main entree, bitch, or you going to starve. Excuse me, y'all. My inner crazy came out. <laughs> Some of you guys, the cycle could definitely be ending with the Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or another Leo like yourself. I feel like someone wants more. Someone also feels like somebody here is a karmic like us. Well, I actually see someone here is very karmic to your finances, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all could be quitting the job and choosing to go into entrepreneurship. I feel like you've been dragging your feet on making this, making this decision, but I feel like there is some type of confirmation that you're going to receive. I'm also hearing laid at your feet, so be open to a, a receiving assistance, Leo. Don't be too prideful in the month of November, okay? Some of y'all is cutting off a sexual relationship with a Pisces. That thing is good, honey, but that motherfucker is the devil. I feel like someone someone keeps you confused um, using their sexual energy. I feel like someone comes with a lot of promises, but this person, their actions doesn't match up with what the fuck they're saying, okay? I feel like you've been in your damn head about it. You've been stressed out about how to communicate possibly with a fire sign. I feel like someone doesn't want to burn a bridge with a situation that they're already leaving or someone wants to wants to make sure that a situation is ended or left amicably. Someone doesn't want to fight, all right? Somebody, some of y'all dealing with somebody who's who got big petty energy who do want to fucking fight. I feel like this is somebody who's irrelevant, though. This is someone who is, is, is okay, this is somebody who's coming from your past or your new person's past because some of you all are starting a new relationship with a water sign and you on the fence about it because you still have some healing to do around rejection, abandonment. I'm also hearing daddy issues very heavily, okay? <clears throat> some of you all have suffered narcissistic abuse and I feel like spirit is really trying to get you to see that that was supposed to thrust you into your purpose because you're a healer and I feel like you're more so a healer when it comes to the mental, the psychology like the psychology of people, this could even be you actually studying like um, behavioral disorders and actually like, I'm mean, picking up on blogging okay, some of y'all could be wanting to blog and speak about uh, behavioral disorders that you're doing a lot of studying on that, all right? This could also, I'm picking up on a lot of Uranian energy. There's a lot of crab in a bucket energy. There's a need for y'all to keep y'all business moves to your damn self, okay? For some of you all, did you have a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person is realizing that you are their soulmate, but I feel like this person has a lot of baggage that's attached to them, and you're just not here for it, Leo. Good shit, okay? You're moving into this new cycle. You're healing, my baby, and I feel like it's opening up doors of a, it's opening up doors of abundance, okay? It's thrusting you into the motherfucking spotlight as you should be because that path is destined for you to meet this big ass cup, and not this not this motherfucking lame ass person who who, who playing these Fisher Price ass games, okay? Some of you all, yeah, some of you all are done investing in a situation because you're not getting what it is that you're putting, out. you're not getting out of it what you're putting into it, and I feel like you're done carrying the weight of a relationship by yourself. This could have to do with the friendship as well. Some of y'all is done being dodged or feeling as if you're a burden to someone. Some of you all, someone is a catalyst for, to, to, for, for you to see that you still have work to do when it comes to um, mending or well, healing your shadow self um, around some type of deep deep wounded abandonment issue or deep okay harbored abandonment issue that's what i'm hearing all right some of y'all there's an air sign stress the fuck out this person don't want to get put on child support for some of y'all this other for some of y'all there's an air, a air sign freaking the fuck out because somebody's gonna get exposed possibly regarding a third party relationship that could have involved a child here I feel like someone chose the option of stability and I feel like someone has a guilty conscience and I feel like the other person is coming to yeah, somebody finna blow up the somebody finna blow up somebody's motherfucking spot here in the month of November. All right, I feel like some of y'all feel like something. Some of you guys also, I'm picking up. Um, some of 
some of you guys could actually be having a lot of um, cosmically connected dreams. This could have to do with the sun, the stars. Okay, I am hearing galactic wars. So some of you guys could be uh, really heavy into conspiracies during this time. Some of you all are conspiracy theorists. And I feel like there's fear. There's fear. There's fear in you actually moving forward and achieving this in this life or moving forward to um, pursue this in this life because you were persecuted for it in a previous life, okay? Some of you all are sorcerers and you, you, you battling between religion and your purpose. And I feel like there's this sense of you guys coming into this oneness with self even if it causes you to go in hermit mode. But I feel like if, you go in, if you're in hermit mode currently, I feel like you're going to come out of this hermit mode, but you're going to come out of this hermit mode. Not It's meant for you to come out of this hermit mode, not holding on to resentment or holding on to negative feelings about whatever this is that is ending or whatever decision that you have to make to let something go. I feel like flip your ill into a lesson, my baby, because there's a blessing in this. All right. What's the advice? Yeah. Conditioning. All right, I feel like there's a dying of the old self. For some of you all, again, crabs in a bucket. I am picking up on some type of generational cycle, possibly around the mother figure being healed. I feel like someone wants to live vicariously through you, and I feel like for some of you all, there's a misperception. Like, there's a there's a big misunderstanding in the middle, and I feel like there's going to be a conversation that's had that gives you a whole different perception around a particular relationship with some type of feminine aspect. And for some of you all, this has to do with... Um, those deep rooted in it, those deep rooted um, emotions around envy, jealousy, okay, or comparing yourself to another individual. I feel like you guys are actually having a sense of an acknowledgement of this behavior, or someone is doing this towards you. And I feel like there's this sense of releasing, releasing, but learning from this, but under, but really finding your purpose in the midst of this discovery, okay. So you guys, let me know. Yeah, I see a lot of yeah, Leo. See you coming, becoming one with self. Being in the flow of perfect harmony, and unfortunately, it is going to come at the cost of having to release something that you love dearly. But I feel like the mask is falling off, the illusion is falling away. You see things, your eyes are working differently in the month of November. You see things for what they are. I feel like there was this element of feeling what you felt, feeling what it is that you felt, but not wanting to see it. And for some of you all, honey, it is just unfucking deniable, all right. But there's this level of acceptance that comes with it, as well as harmony. It comes with time. There is no set time when it comes to healing, all right? But I do feel that there's this element with my Leos for the month of November of coming into oneness with self and projecting that and exuding that and walking gracefully into your purpose. And yes, bitches, is going to be mad, mad, honey. But is that your problem? Nah, all right? So you guys, let me know how that resonates. I love you long time. Until I see you again. Bye, booze. Love y'all.